Well, good afternoon, friends. Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally, and I mean literally, does not work. It is hump day, and I hope you mother humpers are getting over the hump because it's the middle of the week, and tomorrow night, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, we got football on Thursday night. We'll be live streaming the Washington football team taking off the, the New York midgets. Um, yeah, you remember a few weeks back, uh, some people were saying that, that the Giants, you know, they could take the, the division. They're, they're probably the second best team in the division and things. Well, amazing how that's kind of changed. It's kind of changed. And, and Barkley, man, Barkley just don't look right. Barkley don't look right. And you know, you, you can't talk about the Giants without talking about Daniel Jones. Oh, Danny. Run it, Danny. Don't I'm... fumble it. Don't fumble it. Oh. Don't fumble it. I just said this thing. Don't fumble it. <laughs> yeah, Daniel Jones, Mr. Fumble himself. But, you know, we kid because we love. But... As I kid on other teams, other teams are kidding on us. You may remember, I don't know if you remember this last year or not, and hopefully the NFL police don't get me this, but Orlando Brown ended up trashing our defense. And, and let's be honest, our defense deserved to be trashed. We deserved to be trashed because it was ugly. And I, I'm, it hurts thinking how ugly our defense was. But after the Ravens scored another touchdown, this is what happened. Giving got dominated in the fourth quarter, and now tonight, absolutely shredded Brown, on the ground as Dobbins takes it in for the touchdown and more. Easy money, Easy money according <laughs> to tackle Orlando. That's easy money. He trashed us. There's no if, ands, or buts about it. He literally trashed our ass, and quite frankly, we deserved it. We deserved it because it was easy money there for teams to score on us. Now, I like to think that maybe this is a new defense that we have. Um, we, we stopped the run for Tampa Bay. We didn't get to Tom Brady, but we, we got takeaways. We got takeaways, and we put them on notice. We got two interceptions. We got or three interceptions. We got a fumble. You know, we, we held them to a good enough defensive performance from the defending Super Bowl champions. That's all you can ask because we actually did better on our defense than Tampa Bay's did on theirs. We just did, numbers-wise at least. If we'd had a couple of breaks go our way, or, or maybe one break, we would have gotten that win. And so when I look at the numbers, um, in comparison to where we were, we've already improved on that easy money defense. Well, here's Chargers wide receiver Mike Williams. He, um, yeah, kind of, in a way, I don't know if he meant to get the firestorm that's about to come that way or if he was doing it strategically. But Mike Williams basically said, let me pull this article up here from Clutch Points. Uh, you know, they did the graphics on here and all that. Um, what he said was, and, and I'm not sure how to take this one. Tampa Bay receivers look like they're having some fun out there, said Williams. And um, I would say one receiver had fun out there, and that was Antonio Brown. Antonio Brown was a one-gang wrecking crew. I won't say that Mike Evans had a, had a great time out there. I don't think Mike Evans actually had fun out there because that was a terrible performance because he got shut down by Diggs. But basically, Mike Williams has just called out the Dallas Cowboys secondary and their defense and basically, yeah, guys, it's time to man, man up. And get those mother humpers. Now, I'm not one of those guys that likes to talk a whole lot of crap. I prefer my talking to go on on the field. 
to me, it's better to go ahead and say, you know what? I, I don't need to trash you. I'll go ahead and let people talk about how I trashed you on the field. To me, that's sweeter than me having to toot my own horn <clears throat> and everything. <clears throat> because, <clears throat> excuse me, it's better to have others toot your horn than to you do it yourself. I've never been one of those ones, I love me some me. I just get your popcorn ready. You know what? I hope internally that the Dallas Cowboys take mental notes and remember what he just said. And take this to heart. Now, let's be clear here. I'm going to tell you this. Because where we were last year versus to where we are right now on this defense, it's already night and day different. You may not believe it, but when you saw what our defense did last year versus what we did right now, guys, we've already had more takeaways than we had in the first five games in the first game. That's a fact. Do we have a lot of work to do? Yes. But when you think about how many players that are starters this year, now I don't know if you can count Van Der Esch and Jalen Smith. They were technically starters in the game. The first play of the game they were, but they only played 15 and 16 snaps. This is Micah Parsons' defense right now. You look at that defensive line. You had D-Law. Everybody else across that defensive line was a different starter than day one last year. Our secondary the uh, secondary hasn't changed that much, but it will. And here's what's going to happen. You watch what's going to happen with this defense. One, they're not playing Tom Brady every week. Now, I know we got Justin Hubert coming up this week and everything else. He's, he looked really good against Washington's defense. And some people may believe that Washington's defense is great because of what they did last year. I, for one, have said pump the brakes a little bit on the Washington's defense because of a lot of the competition that they faced. When they played better teams, they gave up a lot of points. That is a fact. Do they have some outstanding rush? Yeah, hell yeah. Montez Sweat, you know, a, a, a Chase, you know, those guys, they got a great defensive line, but that doesn't necessarily make you a great defense. There's ways to pick those things apart. Be that as it may, the Chargers were able to pick that defense apart and get the victory. So the question is, is the Chargers just an average de in an offense with, you know, going against an average defense? Or were they both above average? I don't know. We'll find out. But what I can say is, because we have so many new moving parts, that these guys will get better as the season goes along, which is what you want. As Navelle Gallimore gets back, as Randy Gregory, who, who doesn't look like he's going to be able to play this week, because typically it's been taking 10 days for guys to get off the list. Randy Gregory, maybe he'll be a freak of nature on this one, but it's not looking good on him. It's not looking good on Lyle Collins, but you got Zach Martin back. So we'll be a little bit shorthanded, but everybody's a little shorthanded in an NFL season. But I'm hoping, I'm praying that the Cowboys defense literally says, oh, you want to run your mouth? Okay, we got you covered. Literally. We got your ass covered. So that's what we got right now. Um, there's some issues with YouTube at the moment. Can't get thumbnails up. Can't get thumbnails up, but it is what it is. But I still got to be here. And when YouTube gets their stuff straight, we will be back. And with that being said, should we have a little more fun? Because I'm kind of afraid to, uh, kind of afraid because I got copyrighted on my end screen there. So we'll leave you with my good buddy. <laughs> he looked great. He, just, he looked like Miles Sanders. He looked great. Now, the one thing that may come from Miles Sanders' injury, which is a hamstring injury, which kept him out of a lot of the OTAs and minicamp last year. What the hell did that door just shut for? Did you hear that? A shut door just opened and shut. Nobody's around. What the hell's going on around here? Anyways, I'm sorry. I got fires. I got power shutting off all around me. I got ghosts running around my house. What the hell's going on? Anyways, so it, it's got to be Mark Holmes and that stupid Joe Buda. That's what I think it is. Because that Joe Buda, I'm chopping its head off this year. I don't care how evil it is. I will come with the power of God, baby, and I am chopping its head off. Now, 